I was actually born in California, but grew up all over the United States and in Europe. Mm -hmm. My father's in the military, so we moved around frequently. He was transferred. But my home in the United States was Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I was practicing law when I joined the Foreign Service. I've been working in the State Department for many years, 29 years. Um, and I've worked in many different posts overseas and in the department. Mm -hmm. Overseas, I worked in Frankfurt, Germany, Kathmandu, Kuala Lumpur, Port-au-Prince, Haiti, Dushanbe, Iraq twice, Dushanbe one more time, and now Erbil, of course. Sure, I was in Basra for a year from 2005, 2006. Mm -hmm. That was for us a very difficult time. Um, there was lots of activity going on that was directed against us, um, but we thought it was important to be there, representing the United States, talking to people there. I came back to Washington after a year in Basra and came to Baghdad and served there for about three months, mm -hmm. helping with our office that oversaw the provincial reconstruction teams. Mm -hmm. So a year in Basra, three years in Baghdad. I've been here just for five weeks, and my assignment, it's not quite determined. I'll be here at least one year and perhaps two years. I knew something about it. I knew general history of what had been happening in the Kurdish region, but I tried to learn as much as I could before I got here. So I read a number of books on history, on their culture, but really, it's so important to get here and start meeting people and talking about what life here is like to learn about the region. Well, I was, I was excited to come here because I heard so many nice things about it and I wanted to see it for myself. When I had worked in Baghdad, I had planned to come up for a visit, which got canceled, unfortunately. So I was very excited to get here to see what it looked like, to get outside of the city and see the countryside. So I had expectations of, of being in a very nice place, of being different from my previous experience in Iraq. Mm -hmm. So, so far it's been really nice. I've had a chance to move around the city, to visit Sulaymaniyah, mm -hmm. and I've been out of the city a number of times as well. Well, it's, I think I've been very impressed with meeting the people here, mm -hmm. getting a chance to get to know some of them. You know, much of our work is dealing with the government, um, but I think it's just important for us to get out, talk to the average citizen here, do some events with them, learn more about the whole region. I'm, it's still so early for me here. Um, I'd really like to travel more and see more. I was impressed, obviously, when I arrived here in Erbil. Mm -hmm. Suleimani, I was there last week, but just for seven hours or so. So I didn't really get a chance to see it. I've been outside Erbil and traveled to the north, but I really like to get to Duhuk. I'd like to get more regions and hopefully spend more time out there and seeing the beautiful natural scenery that's part of the Kurdish state. No, unfortunately my family is not here uh, in Washington, D.C. instead. <laughs> So for many of us here, we come here without our families. Mm -hmm. And that's why we usually spend one year, maybe two years here, mm -hmm. since for us, many of us are separated from our families. They let us stay or make us stay just a shorter period. That's one of the great things about coming to, to Kurdistan, I think, is the variety of food you have here and how delicious it is. I like kufta, which I hadn't had before. Um, and of course, I like um, the kebabs. Kebab, OK. Naturally. <laughs> I think it's very important for us, representing the United States, to get out and meet everybody, every party, and get to know the different viewpoints from all the different political parties. So I don't have a favorite. I mean, obviously, um, I've been impressed with the people I have met and had a chance to talk to, but there's still so many people I need to get out and see since I've only been here five weeks. So maybe ask me again in six months. Well, you know, so much of what's happening here is related to what's happening politically, whether we're talking about what's happening with Daesh or other things. But I think it's just as important for the United States as representatives of the United States and of its people to get to know and to work closely with the people here. So we have a number of programs in which we do work with individuals, offer opportunities. For example, we have um, 
three American corners right now in the Kurdistan region, one in Dohuk, one in Erbil, one in Suleimania. That's a good place for people to come to learn more about the United States, more about our programs, perhaps learn some English. It's a kind of a community center, but we have many other things too. We have exchange programs in which we send Kurds to the United States for different lengths of time to learn more about it, but also to share their experiences as well. So we view this very much as a as a relationship between people and government, not just not just government. But we'd like to do more of that, of course. Um, we do have other things, and we've been supporting different groups. We've had a program in which we were helping to um, provide um, training in caring for cultural antiquities. Mm -hmm. We're working with the Iraq Center for that, based here. So we're doing lots of other things like that, whether it's, it's sponsoring different groups to come here, mm -hmm. to share our culture, to learn more about yours, mm -hmm. but also anything we can do to, to broaden the people of people contact. I think that's one of the most, well, you know, the one thing I've been impressed with the Kurdish people is the hospitality. It's been great when I've met people, when I've been able to go out, have a meal with them, get a chance to talk to them. I've been so impressed with how hospitable they are, how open they are to, to Americans, to everyone and how open they are in sharing their culture and sharing their life and sharing their history, which is very important for us as Americans to understand. What language did I learn yeah, about Kurdish? Um, unfortunately, I didn't have any Kurdish language training. Big one. But I hope to learn some while I'm here. Mm -hmm. um, I've learned other language, other places, German, French, Tajiki. So I hope to start learning some Kurdish soon. I need to get a good teacher. Just that we're here to learn more about what's happening here, both so that our leaders and our people understand what's going on in Kurdistan, but also to share our experiences in the United States so you can learn more about our culture as well. So it's a two-way sort of um, arrangement we'd like to have. Learn more, not just from leaders, but also from leaders, but from the people, and also inform people here what we believe in and share ideas and share parts of our culture.